Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our camping and survival series. Uh, we not got another monthly box in today. This is one of those Bud K boxes and this is that uh, SHTF mystery gear box. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll, uh, we'll just kind of break it down, go through a handful of these. Let's go ahead and get this big one out of the way. Uh, yeah, this is by Trailblazer, and this is a urination bottle. I don't know that this is really much of a survival tool. I don't know. You guys, you guys be the judge for that one. Let's go ahead with the carabiner, tear it open, and, and again, this is also by Trailblazer. Uh, it is carabiner with compass and flashlight. Um, okay, we have the little compass on the side here. Uh, pretty decent sized carabiner here. Uh, so obviously it's not going to be one that you use for for climbing and stuff But you could take in uh, you know if you have a bundle of uh, Say paracord or something like that you could of course hang it off of that off of here with that And then we have the light and screw it in there. We go all the way eh, I would say no, well, it's not much. It's not much, but it would do you in a pinch when you're in the dark or something like that uh, I say that's eh, probably like maybe 10 lumens, maybe somewhere in there, eight, 10 lumens. Uh, so, you know, it'll do you in a pinch. Again, the, the carabiner is, uh, is, uh, is good. It's, it is solid metal. So, uh, you know, it's not like plastic or anything like that. It'd be like, uh, like an aluminum of some type. So, uh, not too bad. I'm trying to see if this actually looks like it works or not with the, uh, with the compass. No, it does not. <laughs> Um, for me, north is that way, <laughs> and instead it says you're north, uh, which is maybe a great thing because you are the guys that I'm doing this for, but uh, for the compass, that's not going to help me too much. Let's see, so now we've got the little crank light, and it says uh, solar and dynamo flashlight, and of course the dynamo being the crank. And uh, for those of you who didn't know, dynamos, those were a big thing from uh, Edison and uh, Tesla's time. So uh, now you've got the little solar panel on the side there. 120 round per minute or cranks equal one minute. So if you turn this around 120 times, that's equal to one minute. So basically half a second per crank. Three hours of solar charging. Uh, and supposedly that's supposed to last for uh, 45 to 60 minutes. And then you've got the little push button here. Um, yeah, that, that MCD doesn't seem to be very, very bright. I, I'm only going to guess, I, you, I think you might be lucky if you went by lumens. Um, you might be lucky if you hit 20 lumens on this, I'm thinking. For three LEDs, that's pretty, I mean, this thing is almost as bright as that is. Let's see. Look, I mean, here you go. Comparison right there. So, uh, eh, fair, but not great. So, in a pinch though, shit hits the fan. This is, uh, this is something that can help out. Uh, let's see, now we got another one. Okay guys, well, uh, probably more prone for if you're a smoker. <laughs> but, uh, it's called a lighter knife. Now I thought maybe a lighter knife, meaning that maybe it has like a fire starter, like a striker steel on this or something like that. No, you're supposed to put your Bic lighter in here. So slide your Bic in there, you can light it and everything. It then has a belt clip uh, or a money clip, whichever way you want to use it. Well, it does have a, a kind of a quick release knife. So there you go. A little uh, that looks like a little one and a half inch blade and this is an SHTF um, branded so this is a Bud K uh, design light it and then stick it I don't know but kind of kind of odd this is a so far this is kind of an odd box uh, it's almost like they're reaching for ideas um, now this is pretty standard and straightforward. Another trailblazer. This is actually these bamboo forks or sporks. Uh, they're biodegradable. Uh, you of course, uh, you've probably seen stuff like this before. Look, you got four of them here. Uh, they are made from compressed bamboo. You have a, a simple spoon on one side. You have a fork on the other, and then you have kind of a serrated edge that you use to. Uh, 
to uh, cut through things. Here we've got this uh, Ridge Runner and uh, they, uh, as it says, uh, quality knives and tools there. Now we've got a standard kind of hardened canvas type of uh, sheath with the belt loop at the top there. Uh, then we've got a nice decent sized knife. Now of course we have kind of that fake antler look to it. Uh, it's a big beefy kind of handle and it is a fairly heavy knife. This would be uh, roughly six and a half, seven inch uh, blade here. It has a nice mirror polish to it, mirror finish. Now it does have uh, the tang that's all the way through, uh, which makes it nice because it does uh, make it more stable and uh, uh, increases the strength there. We have the uh, brass pummel caps because they're on either side. They don't, they don't, uh, it's not an actual pummel because it's not uh, the actual end of the of the actual uh, piece. We have the kind of the, the hand guard here uh, and it is again brass that is uh, just overlaid or laminated in. So the whole thing is just basically the blade and then they laminated all the rest of this on there. It feels reasonable. Let's take a look. And uh, yeah, yeah, not too bad. Did a reasonable job here, took the hair off my arm. If um, I were to go to the store and start purchasing this stuff, and, and uh, if you guys didn't know already, uh, I mentioned it before, but this is a basically a $20 box. I would probably spend $20 on a knife like this. I could see this going for retail for that much. So uh, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, this right here made the box. Um, nice, nice knife right here. So again, we've got the basic, you've got basic, pro, and then the last one is called elite. Uh, and of course, those are the three different levels of boxes. Uh, each box builds upon the previous box. So for those of you who uh, would like to get one of these, you can uh, do that. Of course, if you want to, you can go down there in the description below. We'll have a link for that. Uh, the basic box being uh, $20, or uh, 1999 So subtract a penny, big deal. Uh, it says for this one that uh, they say it's the retail value is $61.94. So uh, basically $62. An 8 centimeter carabiner with LED compass is $15, $14.99. Then we've got the uh, urination bottle. That's five bucks. It is called a pronghorn peak fixed blade. So that's what this is. And they say it would go for uh, $18. So I was pretty close. I said 20. Then we have the uh, Shit Hits the Fan SHTF Lighter Knife. And they suggest that going for 10 bucks. Uh, and then the last one is, or the last two. Oop, uh, we've got the Bamboo Fork Set and they suggest this goes for 4 bucks. So a buck each. Approximate value for the President's Pick is supposed to be $10. Of course, the link for this will be down there in the description below, as well as links to our social media stuff. And, uh, you know, on your way down, on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Of course, there's that link over there or the one down below, as well as the bell icon that you want to hit that so you know when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. That'll do it for me today, guys. My name's Cougar. Uh, this is another SHTF box from uh, Bud K and another episode from the Camping and Survival series. like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!